Welcome to the 2023 Klaus Fluger Prize. We are delighted to be announcing this year's recipient of this very distinguished award. Today's winner will join the list of the previous seven winners, which includes Nicholas John Frith, Francesca Sanna, Kate Milner, Jessica Love, Ava Elland, Flavia Drago, and Joseph Nabara Hollis. The prize is given every year for an illustrator who managed to create the remarkable picture book, which is both timeless and of its time. The judges this year were Lydia Monks, Joseph Namara Hollis, Sarah McConnell and Urmi Marchant. And they looked at the whole publishing output of debut picture books. They were looking for books that showed how you can best tell a story in this very special medium. And the themes that struck them most forcefully this year were themes of community, themes of adventure and themes of real life. Before we announce the winner and conclude this year's ceremony, I would just like to pay a special tribute to Klaus Fluger, the, the man behind the name of this award. Klaus has been a very distinguished publisher for his whole career. He has shaped the look of picture books and the feel of picture books in both the UK and around the world. And in, in memory of that work, he has set up this award to ensure that the future of children's picture books remains strong. Thank you, Klaus. Hi, my name is Alice Courtley, and I'm the author and illustrator of Lost in the City, which has been shortlisted for this year's Klaus Flug Prize. I wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody who helped me make the book. The fantastic team at Hachette, my amazing agent Claire, and all of my friends and family who helped along the way. Thank you to the Klaus Flug Prize judges for including me on this year's shortlist. It's such an honour to be there alongside the other four fantastic illustrators. Hi, I'm John O'Gans and I'm the author and illustrator of Mildred the Gallery Cat, which is out now from Tip Publishing and shortlisted for this year's Klaus Flug Prize. It's a story about creativity, curiosity and finding your place in the world. It follows Mildred, the resident cat of a big modern art gallery, as she sneaks around at night interacting with artworks and grappling with big questions about creativity and identity. It feels amazing that Mildred has been shortlisted for the Clouds Fluke Prize this year, partly because I've always loved poring over past year's lists, which have included some really incredible titles, but also because, in part, my book is about how it feels to be an outsider and to try anyway. I think it's great that the Clouds Fluke Prize champions debut illustrators and as someone who didn't have a particularly typical route into kids lit, it feels very special to be included alongside four other fantastic illustrators. Hello everyone, I'm Maria Julio the author and illustrator of Flooded. Uh, Flooded is a, a story about a city which gets flooded and the animals who live in it doesn't uh, get worried until the situation is unbearable uh, then they decide to do something about it uh, so it's a story about working together in order to fix a problem. Um, being shortlisted by such a prestigious uh, prize is really, really exciting, especially because this is my first uh, book as an author and illustrator. Um, so I'm really, really excited and it just boosts my confidence a lot. So thank you very much. Hello, my name is Jill Smith and I illustrated this book Saving the Butterfly, a story about refugees. It's written by Helen Cooper and published by Walker Books. It's a story about two siblings, um, a little one and a bigger one who are rescued from the dark sea and have to adjust to a new life. Thank you so much to everyone involved with the Klaus Fluke Prize. It's just incredible to be given this recognition and be up amongst the illustrators who created such exciting children's books. Big thanks to Denise and Louise from Walker Books, Claire Carty and the author Helen Cooper who trusted me with her beautiful words. Hi 
Hiya, I'm Paula and this is my debut picture book, The Baker by the Sea, which has been shortlisted for the Klaus Flug Prize. I'm excited because I'm, it means that I get to share with you my hometown, my heritage and the story of my granddad, the baker. Hello, I'm Joseph Namara Hollis and I'm the author of Pierre's New Hair, uh, which was the winner of last year's Klaus Fluger Prize. Now, I'm very excited to reveal this year's winner. So, the winner of the Klaus Fluger Prize 2023 is Mariajo Ilistrajo with this wonderful book, Flooded. We love it. Congratulations to you, Mariajo. We really love this book. So the story is about coming together collectively to face adversity as a team and it gently mirrors real world problems but the message of looking out for each other is delivered with humour and mischief in equal doses. Flooded has all the qualities of a book that bring readers back to enjoy it time and time again. It's really teeming full of life and there are jokes for both children and adults to enjoy on each page. It's a captivating read from start to finish. As judges, we were won over by all the rich character details, vibrant on each page. These details really draw the reader closer. And as the drama unfolds, I'd find myself exploring each page, tracing each character's activities and trying to work out what they'd all been up to, making sure I hadn't missed anything. Brilliant stuff. Uh, Mariajo has created a truly vivid world and it's easy to imagine that the endearing cast of animal characters are uh, still busily going about their day long after closing the pages of the book. In that sense, it feels like the characters are truly alive. It's all been drawn beautifully and although the compositions must have been painstakingly considered carefully time and time again, all the drawings still feel so fresh. And it's that clever page design that makes for a really exciting read. So well done Mariajo, huge congratulations to you and congratulations to the shortlisted illustrators. Each book is delightful unique in its own right and a real pleasure to read. Hello everyone, I'm Maria Julio the author and illustrator of Flooded and I want to say a big thank you to the judges of the Class Fluke Prize for selecting my book as the winning book for this year's among such an amazing uh, shortlist. It's truly an honour to receive such a pre prestigious award for my first book as an author and illustrator. Um, I often question my work, uh, so getting this recognition is a huge boost of confidence and a joy. So thank you, thank you very much. Bye!